Hello, here's how you can use your UI button to play a sequence using the cinematic sequence device. Okay, so in the last tutorial, we made this. Basically, if we click the button or this, you can see we get a button in our UI here. I can't move, and if I press this, it goes away. So that's what we're working with, or that's what we're starting with. And what I want to do is make this, when I click this button, it's going to play a sequence. All right, so if you follow the last tutorial, you should have this. So this is basically the code for uh, handling the UI button creation, the actual button press, uh, and then the actual UI button click. So first thing, we want to make an at editable here. So at editable, I'm going to call this cinematic sequence. You can call it whatever. I'm just going to call it cinematic sequence. It's going to be of type cinematic underscore sequence underscore device and just initialize that to cinematic underscore sequence underscore device and then yeah cinematic sequence device yeah okay so if you go back into your in here in my uefn if you can see i go into my terminal i can specify my cinematic sequence and in this case i made this cinematic sequence uh, which just plays this de this device um which uses this um um, I'm not going to go into how to make one. I can make a separate video on that, but I'm going to assume you guys already have your cinematic sequence device set up and we're just going to play whatever this is. So in my case, just use this eyedropper and just pick this. So I'm going to pick this and you can see that's the one we have. Okay, so I'm going to make a new button. Uh, and firstly, I'm going to go up here and create a new text. So I'm going to call it text for sequence. It's going to have this localizes thing. So localizes, it's going to be of type message. And here I can specify whatever. In this case, I'm just going to put play sequence. Okay, now with that um, in my create UI, I'm going to create my button. Yeah, button to play sequence. You can call it whatever. And this is going to be of type button underscore loud. And this equals a button underscore loud. And here I'm going to specify my default text equals text for sequence. Now, in case you're wondering, uh, button quiet and button loud, they're basically the same thing. It's just their color. Uh, button loud is going to be yellow, while button quiet is a bit more transparent. With that, I'm going to go down here and do button to play. Uh, it should probably not be an E. To play sequence dot on click. Okay. Dot subscribe. Right. So anytime we click this button, uh, whatever goes inside of this subscribe thing, that code is going to be executed. In my case, I want to play sequence. I'm going to do uh, play sequence. As you can see, we had an error because we don't have our play sequence uh, uh, function created yet. Go down here and do play sequence. And here I'm going to do a message of type widget underscore message. Make sure you include this because anytime your button gets clicked, that passes a widget message to your function. And if you, your function does not have a widget message, you're going to get an error here. So make sure you have this widget underscore message. All right, next, uh, it's going to be of type void. So it's not going to return anything and then equals. Okay. And here we can actually do whatever we want. In this case, I have my cinematic sequence. So I'm just going to do cinematic sequence dot play. So the last thing we need is to add our uh, button to our canvas. And if you recall, our canvas slot, each canvas slot is one widget. And in this case, uh, is one button. So to add a new one, we're, I'm going to copy all this and just paste it here like so. All right. Now this has to be aligned with this. So I can um, drag this and then press shift tab. And that's going to align that uh, there. Okay. So in here, um, firstly, I'm going to replace my widget. Uh, the widget I want to display is, of course, my new button to play sequence. So in here, button to play sequence, All right? That's going to add my button to my actual canvas. The next thing I want is to um, change the position. And the way we do that is by specifying the anchor point. Okay, so in my anchor point, we have this minimum and maximum. Um, if I want it to be in a specific location, I'm going to have them both be in the same position. In this case, we can specify the position using this vector two uh, with this X and Y. I'm going to say 0 0.5 for my X and 0 0.5 for my Y. That's going to be at the center. So uh, this X ranges from zero to one. So 0 0.5 would be at the center and same here. I want it to be in the same position. So I'm going to do 0 0.5 and 0 0.5, right? So that's going to specify my position. 
And that's pretty much it. Now, if we go back to our UEFN and we build verse code, we can push changes and see what we can test that out. All right, so I'm going to start my Fortnite session now. And uh, you can see if I go here, we have a new button, play sequence. And this is the button loud. It's the yellow one, uh, as I was saying. So if I play, press this, we can see my sequence is playing. And yeah, it's, it's, it's not the best, but yeah. And then I can play it again, like so, and just do that. Okay, so that's basically it, and I hope this was helpful. And yeah, and also, it just <laughs> one last thing, sorry. If I press this, you can see that gets rid of my, because I've already done the exit button. So yeah, I hope this was helpful, and yeah.